No doubt manufactured in tiny homes are significantly cheaper than traditional homes, but there's often a surprise after the purchase. Insurance can cost twice as much. To news anchor John Carlin breaks down the cost differences and reveals ways to get a lower premium. Lisa Gill writes for Consumer Reports and she lives in a tiny home. My favorite thing about my tiny home is my bathtub. She also loves not having a mortgage. So what I pay for insurance every year is pretty steep, but I've taken a few steps to lower my bill. Tiny and manufactured homes are becoming a popular alternative, but it could be a costly trend. Home insurance prices can sometimes be double compared to a traditional home. Why does it cost more to insure less home? The insurance industry points to greater susceptibility to wind, hail damage, tornadoes, fire, theft, and vandalism compared with a traditional home. But there could be more to it. Some consumer groups say that insurance companies may be more likely to take advantage of financially vulnerable people, charging them more money for fewer benefits. And there also may be some discrimination around the days when mobile home parks were predominantly located in poor and crime-ridden zip codes. There are only a handful of companies that insure manufactured homes. Less competition can also mean higher rates. When it's time to shop around for a policy, consider working with a local independent agent. Doing so can be a lot more efficient than shopping for yourself online. Here are four other ways to save. Make sure you have the highest possible credit score. Your credit history can determine premium rates. Ask about bundling, meaning there are savings if you buy your home and car insurance from the same company. Consider a higher deductible, increasing the amount you'll pay first out of pocket before your insurance from $500 or even $1,500 could save you several hundred dollars off your premium. Finally, pay the premium in full all at once. Doing so might save you between 5 and 15 percent. After all, Gil would rather spend her money on my garden and landscaping. John Carlin, 10 News, working for you.